Okay, let's take a look at our pancreas model. We'll look kind of far away at, at first to get an overview. So this whole kind of peach colored thing here, this whole thing is your pancreas, okay? And then there's a bit of a frontal section cut out right through the center, which demonstrates this white structure, which is your main pancreatic duct. The tail of the pancreas is way out here by the spleen, and then the bulk of the pancreas, of course, is the body, and then the head of the pancreas sits up here, tucked right behind the structure, which is your duodenum. So running right down the center of the pancreas is our main pancreatic duct. And then you'll see the main pancreatic duct is going to open up into the duodenum, and then in some individuals, not everybody, but in some, there's what we call an accessory pancreatic duct. Of course, this purplish structure over here is your spleen, and then sitting posterior to the pancreas, I have my left and right kidney with my, again, right and left adrenal gland. So you can also see some blood vessels on here. I can see my left suprarenal artery and vein, my right suprarenal artery and vein. I can see my splenic artery, which is working its way to the spleen. Remember, the splenic artery ends up um, coming from the uh, celiac trunk off the abdominal aorta. The duodenum, which you see over here, with a bit of a frontal section cut out. The duodenum is going to receive, of course, the stomach, which is missing from this model. But the importance about the duodenum in this particular model is it has an opening for pancreatic juice and for bile. So if we take a look at our bile pathway, we see on this model there's a little sliver of liver back here. And then uh, attached to the undersurface of the liver sits our gallbladder. So when we look at our ductwork, we've got the liver gives rise to the right and the left hepatic duct. And then my right and left hepatic duct merge into my common hepatic duct. I have my gallbladder, and then my gallbladder gives rise to the cystic duct, which is just real short on this model. And then my cystic duct and my common hepatic duct give rise to what we call your common bile duct. Now in this model, the common bile duct goes behind the pancreas and it pops out right here. And then you'll notice the common bile duct is going to merge with the main pancreatic duct. And where that merge occurs is a little funnel-shaped region that's referred to as the hepatopancreatic ampulla. Okay, and ampulla is telling you that it's a funnel. Hepato from the liver, pancreato from the main pancreatic duct. And you'll notice the hepatopancreatic ampulla there is going to open up into a little raised structure in the duodenum. That raised structure is your hepatopancreatic papilla. And then in that papilla is the hepatopancreatic sphincter then, which allows bile and pancreatic juice to open up into the duodenum. Okay? If we flip this model around and look at the posterior, we can see just a branch of the hepatic portal vein back here. I can see a branch of the, uh, the splenic vein coming in the back. The splenic vein is going to join with the, into the hepatic portal vein ultimately. And then I have the, the uh, right and left on both sides, my right and left renal arteries and veins. Okay? This is my celiac trunk here, which is cut off. Again, the celiac trunk gives rise to the splenic artery, the common hepatic artery, and then this would be your left gastric artery. And I think that's about all we can find on this particular model.